Let's get another league going. It's going to be the last one for the night. Oh, I'm also not sure if I'm going to be able to play Wednesday. Um, I might have to do something after work. So, as a result, I'm, if I can, I'll see if I can play another day. But my class also starts back up this week. It's an online class, so I can usually just do things on an off night. But this week, it looks like it might impact our Wednesday stream. Mm, this hand is not great. This hand is. And we'll keep that as well. It's going why not trying to get why 11 times today I'm gonna vomit uh, okay uh, well we have relic so we're just gonna go ahead and run this out and then pop it we've got stinkweed amalgam and um, in the graveyard and a uh, faithless so it seemed worthwhile there and they're mad about our main board relics A cathartic throwing a narcomoeba and it can flag in the graveyard, so we're totally cool with that. Let's form Tron. And we're just gonna run out this O stone. Opponent is not happy. They're playing against us. <laughs> Alright, we're bringing in the relic. We're gonna. Dip on the Ulamog. And let's run that as is. Actually, Graph Diggers Tool. Let's run that. Let's try this first. I'm going to bring it all to the graveyard. Hate in. And then if we hit the Karn, I think it'll still be relevant that we can hit the old plan, like hitting and snaring bridge or lattice to lock them out. Because we really do want to hit. Our graveyard hate turn one. All right, this is a slower Tron hand, turn four, but we've got a relic on turn one, so we are good to keep this. Let's hold the relic. There's nothing in the graveyard that we want to tap for anyway, and I don't want it to have it blown up for no value. They got a good cathartic. Yeah. Stink weed up and amalgam. And then another. Pretty good for them, I would say. And then pretty good for us as well. Gas and stinkweed. All right, 
let's solve and scry. Formtron, run out the chromatic and pass it over. I am a big fan of the new Karn. I think new Karn is awesome, locks people out of games, and does a great job of finding us uh, a lot of answers in our wish list because we can just throw it all on the side. So I'm, I've am i been doing really well with it, I think. Um, a lot of consistent 3-2s, but then a lot of 4-1s and 1-5-0 so far. Okay. They can conflag us for six to wipe out our worm coil. That would be a bummer. I can't quite do what we're looking with, looking to do with the uh, Karn yet. I'd like to lock them out, obviously, once we get this worm coil on board. I think our play might be just play Worm Coil and play Walking Ballista for one. Just so we get two blocks in case and then we can shoot something down. Um, but we are going to draw a card. Yeah, that doesn't change anything. So let's go Worm Coil and then let's go Ballista for one. And then we'll pass it over. And we'll plan on blocking as much as we can. They have another blood gas in the grave. I'm curious if they're going to go for the conflag business. They could conflag for six. I don't know if that's just really worth it for them, though. Because if they don't keep a land, like if they do it for seven, hit our ballista and our worm coil, they can't play a land to get back their blood gas. Alright, they're gonna go for the loan. And then play land. Yeah. Now are they going to conflag? They could shoot us for uh, us for two and worm coil for six to wipe it out. I don't know if that's really worth it. It might be better for them just to swing in the air for three. Because <laughs> they're not going to get any damage in, uh, in addition to that. Wait, they can kill us. Wait, no, they can't. We have to kill a Narcomoeba if they swing. I think they got too much of a board for us to go for the uh, the Karn lock. And we've got too many cards in hand to stop it. Let's go Stirrings. Cage is not bad. 
Another worm coil is pretty sweet too. We can go worm coil. Eight mana. We can't do worm coil and O stone. Graphs would uh Hmm. I kinda feel like the swing with Worm Coil hold up O Stone's pretty solid, puts us up to 13. Yeah. Let's grab Worm Coil, because we should be able to get out of the game just with that. So let's just play this. Play the worm coil, and we're gonna swing. cool with them loading up the board. We're going to be swinging for 12 next turn. We're just looking to gain life. We're gonna run out O Stone, and we're gonna run out Sphere, and we'll just pass this over. When they go to Grudge our Worm Crow, we'll just pop it. The O Stone, and if they pop our O Stone, we'll just pop the board. So. Okay. So we'll draw a card and pop the board. Ooh, they're gonna crow some group. Okay. Pretty fun. I'm surprised they didn't just crow like I guess they wanted to use it so we would wipe our own board. Okay. But like Now we just lock them out of the game? Oh, we could have snagged our relic. That's what we should have done. So if they had the land, they'd be able to get their blood gas back, but that's not really that big of a deal. Sweet. Got the 2-0 against Dredge. We had some pretty nasty uh, work against them, though, with those relics, so... What's up, sweetie? Thanks for joining me. This hand's no good. 
neither is this hand. We'll keep this five, bottom of that. It sure is a lot of one ofs in the side, but we can find them up because that's what Karn does best. Hmm. Some aggressive deck. Goblin Guide. Bring us back our Tron piece. Come on. Come on. Unmulligan us to some extent. Ah, oh, so spirit. Okay. So I don't really want to cast the Sylvan Scrying yet. We're still making our land drop. So let's run Blast Zone out, run out that, and then crack it for a green. All right, and we'll pass. Goblin good. That's a map. So we're gonna have a pretty slow Tron, but that's okay. Power plant. I don't actually run up, want to run out the map because I may want to blow up those one drops because they're on one land right now. Um, so let's just pass. Yeah, I think as far as life preservation goes, we're best off just passing here and we'll use Blast Zone. Carn's on tap. A suspended rift bolt. Okay, so I think we want to run out the Karn. Because if we run out map, we're not going to be able to activate it. And we're going to be able to go get um, tower, but we won't be able to cast anything. So I think we're better off just running out the Karn, minusing it and getting the filigree familiar and then next turn we could form tron drop that gain a little bit of life yeah or debatably we just get trinosphere because they're they don't have much mana Let's see if that's good enough. Let's Trinosphere them. Don't have another land for Double Bolt. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, opponent. They don't have lethal here. We're gonna be buying quite a few turns, I'll tell you what. Especially if they don't have a land here. Oh. That can give them quite a few turns.
map crack it we'll get our tower play tower If we minus here, we could go get liquid metal coating. Run out the coating, run out the trinosphere, pause it on their upkeep, pass it over, and see if they want to take this bait. Activate it now, lock down their turn. Let's see if they kill Karn. We don't really care if they do. We're just trying to fade a turn here because next turn we're going to drop Karn and then they're going to be in a pretty bad spot. Are they shooting us? Oh, that's great. If they shoot us, this is game. Because we're just going to uptick on this. Get rid of it. 10, 13. Woots, woots. Yeah! <laughs> oh, hey, you bloody. It's going pretty well. And uh, yeah, I love the three mana ball. This is pretty fun. Let's bring in the Nature's Claim. Cut the relics and cut one Ulamog. And I think we're going to run like that. Easy peasy. Yeah, tonight we uh, had a losing league. We went 1-3 drop and then we went 3-2. But uh, the two games were pretty close. And we might have been able to snag those to uh, go for the 4-1 or the 5-0. So. Uh, now we're running it back for the third league for the night. This hand's far too slow. This hand's got a couple shots at farming Tron. Some extra draws. I think we're actually gonna bottom this nature's claim. With the way this hand's set up, we're really not gonna be able to form it. Oh, the liquid metal coating? That came from the uh, Discord Tron chat. They were telling me about how you can um, activate it on a land. And you can, one, shut it down the land, but then you can activate it on a land and uptick with Karnak, to, and then you get to get rid of a land, which seems really sweet. And we've actually beat the mirror because of it as well. See if we can form Tron. Forest isn't bad here. Obviously, we prefer to just get the Tron pieces. Plenty of lands. Let's grab the Oath Stone. And let's go Forest into Stirrings. There's a Tron piece.
So like best case scenario, we're forming Tron on turn four. And we're already at ten. Looking mighty suspect of us getting a win out of this. Oh, things are not looking good. We're at six. We've got five cards. I think we're dead, guys. Sure. Mm -mm -mm. Alrighty. I really do miss Thrag Tusk and Thought Not Seer in these situations, but. Yeah, I think we would have needed to just hit the Tron right away and even to have a shot. All right, well, we've got Tron. And we've got a couple draws. We're going to keep this, see if the draws can play out to the way we want it to. Top is gonna work. Let's draw. And then we'll run out the plants. Star. And let's draw again. Okay, let's run out a map. We'll pass it over. We got a land out of it. Bolt. So, if we hit the land, it's kind of awkward. They could bolt our car and swing at us. If we don't hit their land and they need it, yeah. I was trying to think of whether or not we can make this O stone work for us. I just don't see it happening. enough just for lethal right now it's pretty baller on their part take a card from them all right we can Play tower and hold it up without a problem, so we should just. Mm -mm -mm. Star. Let's draw. It's another map. Very realistically dead. It's 
a mine that gives a freebie and they hit a land. Whew. That's a worm coil. Well, if we can live one turn, we got this. It is very grim. All right, we need them to hit a land or a creature. Land or a creature. Yeah, we'll filter both of the maps for sure. Grab those, get a blast zone, and get a sanctum. Holy crap. We're professionals. And we got a Karn? Holy crap, we're good at this game. Alright, alright. Let's gain some life first. Minus, yes. Lattice, lattice. All right, they can bring Karn down to one or us down to five. Yes, we've got it. <laughs> You don't think we're good? You think our opponent's bad? Did they make any mistakes? I felt like they went at our face uh, enough. <sighs> now, if they had that idol on in hand and they were holding on to it because um, they wanted to play more burn spells, that might have. Uh... Oh, because they didn't because they drew too many lands and they were uh, they didn't kill us fast enough. Oh, yeah. The Tron luck is real. I mean, I am behind the seat here. I mean, in the seat here. It's magic, man. You don't have to be good. I mean, good. You just gotta be lucky. And that's why we play uh, Tron. Because we ramp up that luck to a maximum. We got two Tron pieces and some lower cost cards. We got this. Let's see if we can spray against another dredge deck, make them cry. Are we against Scred? really going on here with those snow mounds. What, what are they doing? Blood Moon? So rude. So rude. Alright, well, let's put together Tron. And we're just going to pass it over. So I'm sure. Hmm. 
What's Karn? Shut down their Mind Stone. Okay, they're gonna crack it. Do we want to minus here? The downside of minusing is it's gonna expose our Karn to just a single bolt. I think we're better off plussing. And then we'll just pass turn. Yeah, we're a solid red green mid range deck. Look at look at our car, and we played it. We played it on turn on the prior turn here. That's fine. Land and a bolt. You want to bolt our Karn opponent? You want to bolt our Karn? It's funny because we're not that far off of casting our Worm Coil just naturally either, so. Okay. We minus, they'll still have to commit two cards to it. Yes. Okay, so here is whether or not we should go get Lattice. Um, or do, this deck, we could probably just beat them if we grab the Worm Coil, right? And then we can drop Worm Coil, then drop Worm Coil again. Let's do that. Like next turn us playing Worm Coil, then the following turn playing Karn or Worm Coil should just end the game. If they want to commit two cards to Karn, that's absolutely fine. Obviously we want to keep our Karn because we love locking them, but uh, the more we can get them to just push onto this, the better. They're going to finish off Karn. Oh wait, no, it's opponents now, isn't it? Tick on our relic. We're gonna hit that Chandra for one. I tell you what. I can guarantee you that's the only time sh this player has ever had their Chandra attacked by a relic of Regenitus. We are legitimately just going against Gred Red. So we're just gonna kill Chandra, drop Karn. Ooh, Storm Breath. Well, that's gonna kill our Karn. That's kind of rude. All right. Well, let's start off by taking out the Chandra. Then I think we're just going to drop this car and get rid of the uh, storm breath.
they're playing Relic just to draw a card, I think we're in a pretty good spot. Another Blood Moon's fine. We're just a mid-range deck now, we don't really care. Correct this. And then uh, let's stir. We should hit a land. Because <laughs> we remember famous last words. Okay. Oh, we got a Karn too. Let's get Karn. I'm just going to get Lattice. Ensure the game. another storm breath they have to send it to the great creator spread sure sure I don't think they realize they're locked all right let's just make sure we're gonna minus this mountain I'm just upticking here because I don't want to move phases for them to bolt the card. And but if I uptick, they can't bolt it anymore. And then we're just gonna lattice. All right. I was trying to think if there was anything that they were trying to do that we weren't like aware of. So let's get rid of the relics. And let's get rid of the Ulamog. Interesting. So this hand's I feel like worthwhile keeping because it has the nature's claim. Um, even though we're light on the land count here, we have two extra draws and then we have a stirring so we can go off with first, then a scrying. So I feel like it's in a good enough spot to where we'd want to keep it. And then of course we just draw the Tron piece anyway so we can form Tron without a problem. And then we have the star into claim to blow up their blood moon. Okay, the Molten Rain's annoying. We're gonna go Sphere into a Stirrings. We got another tower. We're professionals. 
What's up, Jedi? I'm glad you found me. So if we Ballista for three, we can't kill the cough, but we can uh, block and slow it down or just take the hit and then next turn take it out. And if they commit some resources to it, we can go for it and that way they can't just ult us and win the game. Oh yeah! Yeah, you were, uh, I was the lucky player that got uh, Relic in both my main hands against you. So I got pretty lucky there. Yeah, there's just been a lot of Tron going around um, after the London Mulligan, surprisingly, too, because I thought that after uh, with the London Mulligan going away that it'd go down, but it still seems to be just as high. And it's in a good spot right now, so it's understandable. It's good against the Phoenixes, it's good against Dredge, and those are two super popular decks. Yeah, if you're making those kind of profits <laughs> and uh, winnings, then you it's it's all bound to come around. That's what happened to me. I went uh, three four ones and a three two. I felt awesome with this list, and then I went um, two three two three oh three, and I was like, well, this is bad. Well, we can wipe their board, which is pretty cool. Yeah, when you're making those kind of profits, it's not bad at all. Let's take the Karn, drop the Sanctum. Three six games against Tron in a row. That's that's nutty. Like I don't I didn't realize it was like that kind of crazy. Don't know what our opponent's doing here. We're about to lock him out of the game though with uh, this Ulamog. Should be pretty much it for them. Boom, 3-0. All right, let's see if we can, let's get the 5-0. Let's get another 5-0 with this deck, would be great.
Oh, if you just started dread, uh, Dredge two days ago and you're doing that well with it, I think you're solid. It's a really sweet deck. Like, I don't think you're going to have another deck where you get to do draw 15 <laughs> off of a, a single spell. Unless Cathartic can just draw 15, no big deal. We'll see how many creatures I can throw into play and how many Creeping Chills I can get off. Alrighty, we got Tron into Karn. Alright, they're a blue deck, possibly. So I'm gonna run out the map, see if we can get around a counter spell. Yeah, having some Tron hate's not bad at all. I see a lot of players using the um, Ghost Quarter plan, though, because you can just go for the dredging it back with Loam and then just constantly lock them out of, uh, out of it while you're beating them down. So I've gotten beaten many times on that. Thanks for the follow, Jedi JWK. Much appreciated, man. And it was a pleasure to play against you. Uh, let's see if they hit our mine. Okay, they're just gonna let us resolve it? That's interesting. I feel like we're gonna get countered. So we're gonna run off the Karn, because I feel like we're gonna get countered, and then Karn, this Karn's still castable. Yeah, the Cross and Grip's pretty solid. I thought you were gonna, um, when you Cross and Gripped my <laughs> Worm Coil, so then my Osun blew up all my tokens, that was pretty good. So our opponent let this resolve, so let's get our Crucible. Yeah, hitting a Ballista with that seems nutty. Wondering mana, that's fine. Hmm. Let's get a Sanctum. Reclamation, okay. Really interesting that they're letting us draw like this. Um, we're just going to hit their blue sources. Okay, they conceded. Alright, let's dip the relics. Let's bring in the claims. And we'll dip a ballista to bring in that other claim. I don't think we're going to need the ballista as much. And it seems as though Ulamog should be pretty relevant for us here. Nice, man. I would check that out.
This hand seems good enough. We're getting stirrings into a piece into a map, so we'll keep this. Yeah, that list seems solid. Another Tron piece, but it's a duplicate. Let's grab a little Karn. Yeah, Dredge is the deck that my friend Kyle was on for all the tournaments we went to recently. See if the scrying resolves. It does. Let's get a power plant. Let's run out of map. Oh, there goes our Karn. My opponent's got a ghost quarter. This is like maximum levels of rude. Cryptic bouncing our power plants. Well, we're gonna replay it. Let's just pass. With them having Ghost Quarter, we, I think we really just want to hold up our power plant as much as possible, but we really got to advance our board a little bit here. We might have to play the Blast Zone pretty soon here just to add a counter on it, and then try to take out the Vendillion Click with that. If we pop, force him to pop it now, it might be worthwhile, but... Okay, we've got the Tron piece. Let's see if they are willing to just let us go to our turn. Okay. Yes. Force. Crack this. Get a power plant. Oh, they're gonna surgical us. That's extremely rude, opponent, after we fetched it up. Hmm. I guess we're just gonna run out blast zone. If we put a counter on it now, we still can't activate it for what we need to, so I think we're better off just playing Stirring, see what we find. Let's grab Karn. And we'll just pass here, and then next turn we can either play Karn or we can uh, put two counters on Blast Zone and then blow up next turn. You found an Esper list that works for you on the standard arena? I Like I've been saying, I, I need to find a, a good uh, standard deck. So if you got a good list that you're pretty confident on, let me know about it. So I can uh, see if that's what I want to be on for the Invitational. I stole your line. <laughs> we can run out Karn and uptick Karn. That doesn't seem bad. Mm. 
Nope, it's getting countered. Yeah, I feel like you just get to play Super Friends with some added value. Also, don't think we're getting out of this, folks. Because they can just blow up our blast zone. Yeah, I think we're good here. Because we, we, we can take up, but then they blow it up, and then they kill us after that. So let's run it back. Nope. And then also nope. This seems fine. We wish that was in our hand, but can't have everything, apparently. It may have been better to run out the mine or the power plant there to protect the tower, but... Okay, pass it over. Alright, well as soon as we draw a green source or a payoff here, our opponent's in a world of trouble. Ooh, they're gonna collect themselves, ship away the Teferi. Specifically, I would like an Ulamog off the top. Stones okay too. Not if it gets countered. Come on. Pay off on top of the deck. Wild Reclamation is so fun for these blue-white control decks, isn't it? Play a Jace, untap with Jace, like it's no big deal. Well, our opponent was very kind, I guess, and gave us left us with Tron and a Force. That's that's interesting. Stirrings. No, well, that's an Ulamog. We're gonna take that because it can go through a counter spell. Boom and boom.
very interesting that they left us with the tower. I thought they were going to hit the tower for sure. I guess we can take Blast Zone. <laughs> we can actually Blast Zone for four, take out the Reclamation and the uh, Jace. That's kind of interesting. Um, I think we're going to run out Karn, though, see if it resolves. Snap negate. Drawing all the cards. Oh, that's interesting. So we're going to put two counters on this, I mean one counter on this, in case we need to get rid of the uh, Snapcaster, but uh, we might be dead here. Let's run this out. Draw. Scrying. We'll get the Ghost Quarter. We'll have to pass. We're gonna get buried under this Jace though. I expect you to be path, Worm Coil. Or click. Works two. Worm Coil just gets bounced by Jace. And that's lethal.
Yep, that's game. No good. Kept us off of our plays just enough, so... And then we did not draw relevant enough cards at the end there. Do that to me. I had to mull down to nothing. Oh. Fetch up our power plant, pass it to them. For seabirds in our future, yeah, two of them, two of them. Okay, so Karn would exile one for sure. Worm coil bite get. I'm gonna go with Karn here because I want to just exile a bird for sure and reduce the amount of damage we'll take. And then they would have to send three damage at Karn. And if they drop another, like, um, a Crackling Drake or a thing in the ice, we can go for the O Stone and wipe the board. And then after that, we'll. Yeah, okay. Crackling Drake is great for us. They kill Karn, draw a card, and then we're just gonna go O Stone. Now is a bit awkward for us. Unless we draw a Karn and uh, lock him out of the game. Your go, opponent. Your move. <laughs> this pause here. This pause is when they're figuring out they can't do anything. Great. All right, we got to bring in the Nature's Claims because we're expecting them to play Blood Moons. <laughs> oh, all right, we're going to take out the Ballista. Uh, we're going to take out the Ulamogs here. Uh, do you want, I wouldn't mind bringing in the other Relic and the Graft Diggers. Let's bring in the Graft Diggers because I really want to see that on turn one. 
And let's cut a Karn. <laughs> That's the most Yu-Gi-Oh stuff you've ever seen. <laughs> Am I Yu-Gi in this case with my Destiny draws? Like, I need this off the top. Boom, got it. That was a mold to like four too, right? All right, this hand's got two Tron pieces, and then we got one redraw, but got to pay off. See if it's good enough. Yeah, Yuki's like the Yuki cheats so much. Oh, we got Tron. No big deal, folks. No big deal. Okay, they actually missed a land drop, which is pretty good for us. We are going to drop this Karn. Oh, got a hit with the Ceremonious. We got too excited. All right, well, let's draw a green spell. Nothing. Green. That's a nature's claim. Well, we have the force for that, so let's just pass. Yeah, I can see him having cards in the sleeve. Didn't they actually have an episode where he was going against someone that had a uh, bunch of cards up their sleeve? Are they going to snap? That's so rude. All right, I'm expecting us to get hit for seven or nine or not. All right, well, we're going to run out the blast zone. The fact that uh, they can do the bouncing on the Snapcaster is so freaking good. It's so good. Alright, let's add a counter on that. Map can get us a Sanctum. That's pretty much it. Let's just run off the force and pass turn. Hmm. No, I guess we should run out the map. Fetching up the Sanctum in case we draw a threat makes sense. They're clear right now to get hit by it, so let's just wipe the board. And pass it to them. Blood Moon, sure. Kind, we will just blow that up. We got another one. No big deal. Please have them play another Blood Moon thinking, there's no way he would have another Nature's Claim.
Yeah, we should just thin out the deck. Bolt. That's just like the case we may want to hit it. We're going down to three here. I'm gonna hold on to the claim in case we want to hit it. Our, hit it on us to keep ourselves alive. Relic came one turn too late. So if we go get a Sanctum and play the Karn, we could die to like a Bolt. So because of that, I'm just going to run out the Karn here. Exile the bird. And then play the Ghost Quarter. are on top of it, Dr. Brian. Stone's pretty good. Let's take out the Drake. Let's go for the Thin now because we don't need to hold it up. And we'll hold up the Old Stone just in case. Let's add a fate counter on our Karn, and then we're gonna nature's claim on the stone. Uh, I don't think you're going to get purged. Blood Moon is fine. Still just dead if they drop two spells in a row and flip that thing in the ice. <laughs> Next turn we can finally minus down on it. They have so many outs. 
So many things kills us here. Oh, they spell pierce their own mana morphos. Oh, it's so good. All right, let's run it back. Sweet. Thank you for sending that over. Hmm. We don't have any green mana. We have a relic, but we don't have much going on here. So we ship in this. Um, this hand has potential. We can go mine into sphere, into stirrings, into map. To see if we can form Tron that way. And we just have the tower on top, so no big deal. We got this. we're gonna wait a turn here I'd rather wait a turn and have the sanctum to have another threat so Double Phoenix. Pretty rude. Please don't have more Phoenix. Set adrift our green source. It's kind of awkward for us, right? If we crack it, we. Hmm. I'm gonna crack it. But, you know, I can't have it all. Yeah, it does seem to always be a turn too late, doesn't it? Alright, Karn will take a three. We can drop a worm coil. Relic gets blown up. Oh my gosh. I think it's Ceremonisus. I feel like we're just getting crushed. Uh, 
cracking that green sword, that sphere might not have just been the right call. So, like, I wanted to crack it because I didn't want to be set back a turn. Um, but, obviously, we t also turned off our stirrings. Okay, we can nature's claim the blood moon to turn our stuff back online. And then what? Play blast zone, add counters, take out the phoenix? Seems like the line to keep ourselves alive. As long as they don't have another bolt or something. They had a bolt. Yeah, I felt like I didn't sequence that awkwardly, that last one, so I think that's my fault, obviously, for, uh, I could have held the relic without sending it out because, you know, we couldn't crack it anyway, so we missed a draw there, and then the sphere was awkward because I could have cracked it for an Ancient Stirrings, giving us another relevant card, so my sequencing there could have been much better, and I think we could have possibly had a game as a result, but instead we, uh, didn't. You want me to open the chest? I like never open chests. I will open the one chest since you're requesting it, sweetie. Open one. Uh, I don't think that's worth anything, is it? We got five play points though, yeah! All right, folks, that's going to be it for me. Um, much appreciated for everyone coming and hanging out. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming on Wednesday. Um, if I am, obviously, I'll be here, but I might have something coming up, so I won't be able to. Um, and then this weekend, I will be back on Sunday because I will be uh, traveling on Saturday, but I'll be back in time for the stream on Sunday. So thank you so much, everyone, for hanging on out. Um, have a great night, and then I will see you all soon. And yeah, I will check out that list. I don't really know Standard very well, so I'm kind of just leaning on your knowledge. <laughs> Have a great night, everyone.